Well, look what we have here. No fancy knife today. Just trying to get it done. Box cutter was closed, so we're going to go with that. I'm sorry about this light, man. This sucks. Let's finish this up later when I have appropriate... <laughs> the shadow being on here is just stupid. All right, now that the sun pattern is a little better, we, we could do something. Let's um see if we could pop it up here and compare it to the two Renergy panels. All right, I left a little, little stank on the end, <laughs> a little gap so you can see how wide it is comparatively on this side. But that's how big it is compared to these two 100 watt panels. This is a 190. Forgive my unkept yard, lawnmower is on the way. This dip is the same size. That is peculiar. I mean, give or take a millimeter or so. Like, can you see that? Pretty cool. I actually was debating on putting the rich solar up on my balcony because the rich solar is smaller on paper. It's supposed to be 58 inches. I think this one is 62 on paper or 60 or something like that, but it's the same size. Sweet. Now let's try and do some measurements. You see the fan on this dip, right? Let's level set for a bit. This is pulling in 114 watts from those two energy panels. So let's swap them out and see how much we get. Forgot to unplug it. I don't always do it, <laughs> sadly, but when I do, remember I do it. I like that so much better. It's a little pushed over here because these carpenter bees is infringing on my uh, God-given rights. Now how the missus is gonna feel about that, we shall see, but let's look at the output. That panel has been out there in the sun too, so it's not that much of uh, a temperature difference. 121. 122. All right, we're gonna give it a couple seconds, maybe a minute or so to see where it settles to. All right, I'm balcony trapping. So I would compare the output of this panel on the EB70, but I don't think it's worth it because they put out about the same power and I've done like a test or two on solar panels. The EB70 and the EcoFlow get in about the same power from these panels. Even if you take into account that the EcoFlow should be able to take in more power than the EB70. Let's go check on the EcoFlow and see what kind of power is getting in after I let it kind of settle a little bit. Checking back in here, 116. So this panel doesn't make that much of a difference output wise and I didn't really expect it to. It's a uh, maybe like a 20 volt by 9.72 amps. These panels together in parallel, remember parallel combines the amps. So they're like 5.5 amp panels. So they put out about 10 amps as well, maybe a little more. Now where this matters for me is now I have one clean panel up here that I only have to make work with. This will make a lot more sense in winter months where my sun is not overhead anymore, but it's more so like over across the horizon for the most part. So when I have to have a panel like up against this backsplash to catch the sun, moving around one panel is much better than handling two panels. So because these are pretty much the same size, Rich Solar can stay down there, HQSD can stay up here, everything's good money. I got a little panel jiggering <laughs> to do to decide what's what, but I'm happy. Panels here, so I holla. Thank you.